Alright, so uh, I decided I was going to make this crazy port thing. Curved port with uh, all four sides of the port being curved. And uh, decided I should make a how-to video um, that I will post up if this works out how I think it will. Um, I have a solid plan in mind. Haven't done this before, but haven't seen anyone else do it, so figured it would be cool to uh, show the people how to do. But uh, I'll show you guys pictures of the design I have um, in the post. But this height right here is the height and width of the front mounting face that goes onto the box and I cut all four of my panels to that max height um, because if you try and cut it uh, you know how the curve will taper in from this corner down and then you'll have your port wall um, width which is like 8.5 or something for these and uh, the top is like 16 something um, but if you try to get it right in the first go you're gonna have to deal with cutting a 45 all along while tapering and then meeting up to this corner which is gonna be a pain in the ass so I decided to not do that but um, here's my boards all pre-curved all ready to go um, and what I've been doing is or what I have done for the first one because I've just done one is I've ratchet strapped them together for uh, you know a few hours it should be more but I'm kind of on a time crunch so uh, three hours is about what that what that did and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for setting it up and I'll resume this when I start cutting the actual, you know, the taper and then the port, port width and all that fancy shit. Um, but I'll show you how I reinforce one of these and get it to stay bent. I'll set this up somewhere. Just in my garage. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Right. Using two ratchet straps. Yeah, just religiously pour this shit on. You can use PL if you want, which I'm surprised I'm not using. But, uh, Typhon will obviously work. Just kind of massage it into the uh, curve cuts. Trying to get as far down as possible and get every curve. And I'll probably sand over this later, even though it won't be seen in the uh, final application, but I'm weird like that.
filled up. Now the fun part. Oh, damn running nose. I'm terrible at explaining shit, so I'm sorry guys. This is why I'm making a video instead of a post. Because I am terrible at coaching and explaining or whatever you want to say. Oh, for the actual ratchet, I put it on the inside of the kerf because if you put it on the outside, the like the metal um, will scratch up the wood and dent it, and it's not gonna look good. I found out a good method on how to actually put these on it's just gotta kind of fuck with it <sighs> make it kind of tight and then uh, put on your second one should be much easier because it's already bent. I guess I should angle this. You can see better. Not that it really matters. You already know what I'm doing. Now that it's bent, you want to um, put it on a factory cut piece of wood. Not a piece of wood that you cut yourself because you never know if it might be off square or off 90 degrees but what you do is line it up right there on this corner and then right here to check that it's square should I do a little bit it's pretty damn square doesn't have to be perfect but uh That's pretty much the gist of it. Let that sit for a few hours. Or overnight, preferably. But I only have one pair of ratchet straps and I'm trying to do this fast, so. But it worked. So I'm not complaining. Notice how uh, ratchets are on the inside. And these are rubber coated, so it shouldn't do uh, much damage, if at all, to the wood. You can put some, maybe some foam there or something to protect it if you're really worried about it. But yeah, that's it for this.
looks like it did the trick. You just gotta be careful with it, or else it'll uh, kick back on you. And you gotta hold the saw weird and put your hands in uh, pretty not good places on the saw. but it should work. See how it kind of... Eh, no, it actually looks all right, maybe. All right, so tried cutting this one, and you know how it's funky. And uh, the saw grabbed and just ripped it back, and it's way too thin, or skinny, I should say over here because it just like ate this way so uh, for the rest of these panels I'm gonna cut this first so I don't waste my time cutting this one when this one has a high chance of just fucking up so this is scrap this is garbage now I'll have to make another one All right, so I figured out a somewhat more accurate method to uh, cut this side of the 45 and taper, uh, clamping, clamping down a T-square and then using it as a guide to go backwards because uh, once you get past this line, it, you're kind of just like guessing straight. this uh, straight edge going all the way. You can just follow that and that'll keep it straight for you. That's it. <laughs> 